Happy Tuesday, friends. I hope you are doing well. It's fun to be back in my kitchen. Last week I was hanging out in my office with you, so I hope that you are enjoying Simply Tuesday if you're new here. I'm Crystal Stein. I am the host of the Encourage Simply Tuesday book club that we are doing this fall. This is the book that we're reading, Simply Tuesday by Emily P. Freeman. Hello, yes, use the chat box and uh, chat with us. Let us know where you're reading from, where you're joining from. And if you are new and you're just joining in with the book club, I wanna make sure that you know on Encourage today, at the end of the book club post, I put in, in case you missed it section, that links to all of the past posts with the questions and the discussion and then also links to the past videos. So um, if you've missed any of our live Periscope chats or if you um, just wanna catch up or do this, sorry about that, um, do this later with friends, all of that will be available for you to access on Encourage. So I shared those links for you. If you go to encourage.me, it's I-N instead of E-N, and then click on the book club tab, you'll be able to find today's post and chat with us in the comments, chat with us in the Facebook group if you want, chat with us on Twitter. Uh, you can join us from anywhere. So I love seeing all the comments where everyone is from. I love the people using the new emojis from the update. <laughs> that makes me so happy. This guy is like, hey. Um, do you, did you guys, this is off topic, but I just need to know, did you update your phones for the new emojis and which one's your favorite? Because I'm partial to the fact that they added a burrito. It's just fun. Um, but there's some really fun ones. I've uh, found reasons to send the unicorn to some people just because why not? It's a unicorn emoji. So anyway, uh, today Emily is going to be talking about part four of Simply Tuesday. Ooh, I think that's like a crossbow or something. That's super fun. Uh, and yes, the nerd smiley with the glasses, one of my favorites. So Emily is going to be joining us here in a couple minutes on her Periscope account at Emily P. Freeman. Make sure you're following her. She's gonna be chatting with us about part four, accepting our Tuesday soul. My favorite part of that happens to be where underneath the title, it says more laughter, less shame. And it is one of my favorite sections in this book, especially that chapter um, on confession and laughter that she shares. It's chapter 12, starts on page 183. And she shares on page 188, two surprising ways to cultivate a light heart. And I think that's just so important. Everything can feel, especially leading into the holidays and the season that we're in, everything just feels a little bit chaotic. And um, it was really special for me to read that part while I was at a conference with a bunch of moms, wonderful, wonderful women this past weekend. And just to really be able to appreciate those moments that God gave us to sit and laugh and hang out together. Um, one of the moments that I love the most was whenever um, I was sitting with a friend on a sofa, which we were not allowed to drink coffee on because it was fancy. And so we, were, we, we paid attention. We didn't drink coffee on the sofa, even though I was like, come on, coffee. But we were good. So um, hold on just one second here. Okay, and so we were. It was just one of those moments where we gave de gave each other the gift of presence, right? We were talking and laughing, and um, at one point, out of the corner of our eye, we saw a guy with a camera, a very big camera, and we both looked at him and we were like, "Are you taking a picture?" He said, "No," and we didn't believe him because he had a massive camera pointed at us, and. So we asked, we're like, are you sure you're not, because we can pose or move or we didn't know what he wanted. He's like, no, he's like, I'm taking a video. And we lost it because we were, it was late at night. We were sitting on this fancy sofa. There was a giant pillow the size of both of us squished between us. And here was this guy who legitimately was not, I guess, taking a picture because he was taking video of us. So if I end up on a blooper reel somewhere, I'll be sure to share it. But laughter is so good for the heart, so make sure you read that chapter. I also wanted to make sure that I shared with you, and I wrote a little thing and forgot it. Um, at Encourage, um, we have a very special necklace that we'd love to share with all of you. It's on dayspring.com. If you go to the search and type in Your Story Matters Necklace, 
it'll pull up this beautiful Lisa Leonard necklace that has a little bench charm on it with a tag that says your story matters. And we really believe that is very true at Encourage. And we would love for all of you to be able to get that at a special book club only deal. So if you add one of those necklaces to your cart uh, on dayspring.com and then use the code Simply Necklace, I believe is the code. I will tweet that to make sure it's right later for all of you. You'll get that necklace for $15 plus free U.S. shipping. So I will um, make sure to share that code. I, if you're following Encourage, we'll share it from there so that you can shop, um, maybe give that as a gift to a friend that you want to invite to your bench. So um, hopefully you all enjoy that. If you're in the Facebook group, you already knew about that necklace deal. So um, we just wanted to share it with all of you here. So, um, make sure you're following uh, Emily P. Freeman. She's going to join us here in a bit. And then next week's going to be our last Periscope for the book club. I, I can't believe it's over so soon. It's been so much fun. So, hopefully you'll join us next week. If you miss any of these, like I mentioned, we have them all for you. We add them to our YouTube channel, and then we put them on the blog. So, you can catch up anytime. So, I'm going to go so we can all go over and hang out with Emily. If you want to share Emily's Periscope with your friends and followers, just swipe right on your screen and you'll be able to share with your Periscope followers, your Twitter followers, you can post it on Facebook, and we'd love for you to share with your friends and invite them to join us. If you're also wondering how all those beautiful hearts are ending up on the screen, just tap your screen a couple times. So, um, we will see you. I will be on as encouraged here when we jump over to Emily's, so I will chat with you there. See you soon. Oh, yes, swipe up. swipe up if you're on Android to share. Thank you for that. Good tip. All right, see you guys soon.